Hello? Hello? Shh. Hello? The door is open. I can tell. You can come in if you want. I do. Should I? Yes, but quietly. Okay. Yes. Tippy, tippy, tiptoe. Here I am. Inside. This is nice. Cozy. I thought you were... Yes? Someone else. You almost seem... I know what you mean. People always. Someone... Someone's always... But your hair... Now I see it, and now I see them. Your eyes. I tried to be myself as much as possible. Some days it's very trying. But I do it. I attempt it. I have the template well in hand. Yes, you do. I can tell. Template and all. Everything of a piece. A sound part of the whole. From the soles of your shoes to the tips of your ears and beyond. Uh, who's that? A friend. A neighbor, actually. Came over a bit ago and, and decided to stay. Mostly by the fire there, but sometimes in the kitchen. Nice for conversation. Oh, that's rarely a problem. There's there's lots of listening, so when I talk, I'm I'm sure of a real listener too. Means my convo, my my vocab, my word choice, my utter all that can be on the upside, on the kiviv, on the alert, on the reckon. Never a worry about words going astray, because I know there will always be a ready ear, and that charming, dear expression that always says, talk to me, please. And that's it. What's it? You and someone to listen. Oh, no, more than that, much more than that. There's the tisket tasket basket in the corner. Belongs to the ones who are resting upstairs. That's why I needed the quiet, the shush, the shh. Needed to keep it down, keep it low, keep things in perspective, in shape. Upstairs resting because they know what's good for them. Need their resty westies, they do. Need to be at the ready for the evening's entertainment. So much fun, so festive. Are you sure you aren't? No, I'm not. Yes, I'm sure I'm not. No, yes, but not at all. Even when everyone's saying that I must be, I sure I'm, I'm not. I mean, I know who I was when I got up this morning. And while I, I think I may have changed several times since then, I'm sure I'm back to me. The meanness of myself, the essence, the profound beingness of, how shall I call it? Breath. I see it now. You're not. The more the presence, the more the difference. Interesting. Thank you. Oops. I see a need for a listen. I see it too. Would you like to have a listen too? If it's not too much trouble. But no trouble at all. Trouble is later, right before the entertainment. For now, it's just quiet and listening. Are you settled? Yes. Yes. Here's a little story that'll make you cry. About the Jew who knew how to get through. Not really cry, of course, but I think you'll find it moving. It's an old story, so... So, so old. Telling it again and again makes it fresh. Fresh as a daisy. Fresh as springtime. Though, maybe younger. There is a forest. With trees. And a sandbox with a toy shovel, a yellow shovel made of metal, with tinges of rust here and there, roundabout, enough to know that the shovel has been in the sandbox waiting for quite some time. So when the family came to play, no one wanted to get into the sandbox, so that was where they stuck the old one, plop, stuck, plippity-plop on the way to the barber shop, but taking time to get to the sandbox, suss it out, make sure it was the correct one, then drop plop and stand for a moment before taking off to find the yellow basket. And it was only then 
that the old one said... Yes, I'm listening. Is everyone listening? Well, I'm listening. I think everyone is too. So there, in the sandbox, alone, but with the yellow shovel, the old one says... Yes. How the hell do you expect me to bury myself with this goddamn toy shovel? Right there. Right out loud. Out loud and there, <laughs> yes. I love that story. Every time. Is there another? I can tell it again. No, save it. Save the again, please, another. Well, there was a time. There was a time when... There was a time when there was chaos and confusion. Was it dark? It was dark. And light. And there were sounds. What kind of sounds? Wailing and, and, and gnashing. Of teeth? Yes, gnashing of teeth and, and bones. And, and even though there was a yellow basket, most people were lying awake with a dismal headache. I remember. Because I was anxious then. But couldn't show it. They said, someone said, shut your gob, mate, around these here parts. Repose is tabooed by anxiety. Sometimes staying awake is the only answer. Awake and alert, knowledgeable and knowing, ready for a picnic or an answer. Or a time when being together is better than being apart. When being is everything. Look, the hand is moving. Over there. Do you need another listen? That's a head shake. That's a no to listening. I think I... You're I think. right. Correcto mundo. Absolutely not listening. No. Not listening. Speaking. So I can listen. Me Finally. too. I love to listen. Shh.